Assalamu alaikum my brother and sister welcome to travel with Saida today topic is itmarna or you call is nusuk app uh, today i tell you how to install the nusuk app and how to uh, add your uh, login details and how you log in and register in with the nusuk app first of all this is not a nusuk app the previous name is the itmarna but now the saudi government is change uh, the name is nusuk app because they add the so many things in the nusuk app in the previous itmarna app there is no hash section so that is the revised version of the itmarna and they uh, given the name is nusuk app so i tell you in the whole video how to register in the nusuk app how to download and how to install it uh, so please like and subscribe for more videos so let's go we can uh, install our nusuk app and then we can discuss about how to register in the nusuk app first of all you can go to the iphone and uh, go on the search section apple store and then add the nusuk uh, write the nusuk and then install the nusuk app you can also uh, download it on the uh, android and iphone as well there is a link as well you can see this is a different website uh, that is show the nusuk app and you can go there and download the uh, nusuk app and you can read about also the nusuk app so let's see uh, we can go on the mobile section so this is a nusuk app full video so you must watch the ad, uh, full video because if you don't watch the full video you can't understand how the nusuk app install and how to register it in the nusuk app the government uh, so the government is uh, add so many things for the the other country people so you can see there is lot of things in the you can book the umrah hajj in the nusuk app so that is very good decision for the government because the last previous one the mutawif app and the mutawif government scheme is not working so that's why they can launch the new nusuk app for the upcoming umrahs people and hajj people so there's a uh, apple store you can go to the apple store and write the nusuk and when you write it uh, and press the search button then the nusuk app is coming and you can download i already downloaded downloaded it so that's why it show you already downloaded it you see in the nusuk app there is a nusuk and itmarna because itmarna is the previous name so that is also show it with the nusuk that is the previous name so uh, i show you in the video so you uh, see it the clearly itmarna and nusuk is the same thing but this is a latest version means they update the uh, app and they add the nusuk name now there is in the mind why they uh, change the name nusuk uh, itmarna to nusuk and why they are add the hedge applic hedge um, you know hedge services in the nusuk app because the pre previous uh, mutawif you know so many people have suffered from the mutawif uh, they uh, the hedge service mutawif website they don't launch in the two three weeks before the hajj so so many people have suffered the services so that's why they keep in mind uh, the future people don't suffer for the hajj and especially for the you know european people so that's why they can add the uh, nusuk app the hajj applications as well so the 2030 is their target so all application can be done by this nusuk app so let's see uh, the urc on the first page uh, what language you want english and the arabic uh, i want the english language so i can press the english and then you can apply when you can apply it now i apply now the the other page is open that is login page and new user if you already log in then you press the login if you not then you can go to the new user then this page is show the GCC countries, Gulf countries, the resident of the Saudi Arabia and the other visitors. So what is the GCC country? GCC countries are the Arab countries like the uh, Kuwait, Qatar, UAE uh, and Doha. That is all GCC country. There is seven GCC countries. If you see on the website, you can search on the website, you can see it. And there's a visitor so i am the visitor so i can go on the visitor site because now i'm not on the gcc countries no i'm not resident on the you know i'm not resident on the saudi arabia i am not uh, i have not permit uh, permit of the saudi arabia so i am going to the visitor section if you have the gcc country you have the saudi permit so you can go on that side so mostly european country uh, people have don't have the gcc countries and the Saudi nationality and Saudi resident so they all apply on the visitor section 
so in this you can add your name your detail your passport detail your uh, visa detail you know uh, if you have the e visa e visa given by the saudi government uh, you can apply on the online for the saudi website so if here you have the saudi e visa number you also apply on that before you can uh, download uh, to the nusik app you can apply for the e visa because in this section they they need to the e visa number then they can register you and then you can book to the umrah permit otherwise you can't uh, book the umrah permit for that no suka so before that you can uh, apply for the e visa i also make the video for the e visa later on but uh, first uh, i can do this one so i have the nationality of the united kingdom so i can add the united kingdom so uh, you can see there so many countries so you you uh, choose your own countries and i apply for the united kingdom and the rest of the things uh, that is a private like the uh, passport number your date of birth your e visa number so uh, i don't show in in this video i can first i can add all these steps then i can come back and this is the best thing of this part you can uh, apply whatever but wherever you live in the world like you live in the uh, pakistan you live in the united kingdom you live in the america canada and you just add your mobile number and you can uh, you can register in the nusuk app and before you traveling you can enter the you know the umrah permit take the umrah permit and straight go to the for the umrah so this is the best option for the most people so Uh, that you can see this in the kingdom in the kingdom number so i can add all my details like uh, i can add details passwords so i can tick the all these uh, two three steps then i can uh, register for that so you can first tick all these three steps if you have a disable you can apply for the disable as well so i don't have uh, anything like that so i can i tick the three boxes if you already registered with the one mobile number so they don't accept to the registration so you can add the some other uh, uh, mobile number in your mob, uh, in your uh, mobile because if you for husband and wife go to for the uh, for the umrah so you can download separately or you also download with the one app uh, one app and add the companion so this is you can give the email address they can give you the postcode like the four digit postcode uh, you can put it in there like this is a um, four digit postcode and you can verify that there is a limited time so you must verify that otherwise they can send you again the postcode and there is a two step verification they only don't take the one verification after login you can again uh, add your passport number your email address and then login then they again send you the code and you can uh, put the again your postcode so like i put my united kingdom which country i am living for united kingdom because i am visitor so then i can add the passport number and my you know uh, password and then they can send me the three uh, four digit code this is i login then i can give the code again that is sent in my email you can see here now i received the code so i can put it here my four digit code so no, i can, I can add put the, the four, digit, four code. digit code in the nusuk app like you can see it now the page is open now then they go on the main page okay and this is look has services this is because uh, nowadays there is no has services so there is nothing inside the has services but in the app this also has services available but in the later on when the haj is coming they put the uh, has services in this app so i can show you the hajj services as well look the close request inquiry reservation management and refund so there is no service available now so in the future they can add in in it so you can also uh, delete in the app so this is the umrah when you click on the umrah the the page is open in this page the your name is written you can tick on your name and then continue then they can go in the next page now you can see when you can continue they take you to the next page that is the umrah permit page then there is uh, you see the 
you know the dates of october if you change the dates there is uh, only uh, the october dates available because there is no later on date available like if you can go on the november there is no dates available on the november only the current month dates are available and the green means there is a there is no uh, more people on this i mean time and the red means there's so many people rush area rush time so you must select your days before you going uh, like if you going to the october november december then you can uh, this check uh, december time and you can select your date and time and you can done okay and when you can go to the makkah and directly to you can go perform umrah now you can see when you can select one date there is other dates uh, time available right now so you can choose one time uh, for your prefer this 24 hour slots so 24 then they show me the which which uh, time the people book a lot the, the orange one the and red one red one the most people book that slot so is that time and the green one there's no much people can book this one so that is available and this hope so there's no rushy rushy time or in the future they can mostly people can book it so i can book it and then i press the tick the button like the box you can see the box i can tick the box and then i press the continue when you can tick the continue the next page is open there is a permit page you see the permits and when you can go to the umrah you can show to the person so there is a date is written and the, there is a barcode like you know they give me the barcode when i can go to the umrah i can show this and they scan it and then i can enter in the umrah so this is the main uh, i want to show you and i want to share with you then i can cancel it because i'm not going right now this is only for you for you you people i want to share you and i want to show you how to book the umrah permit the same like the prophet mosque services if you are the male you can select the male uh, section if you are the female you can select the female and then tick the tick on your name and then press the continue and then you press the continue like this there is only one one section is available one date is available and that is also very busy time and i don't want i just want to share with you you can tick on that and book your slot of the you know masjid nabawi when you can go in the medina before you want to go you can book it if you want so it is save your time and you have go at any time so you can see it in this app there is so many section in the down you can see home uh, permits and the other services so you can see the three four more, more services so the permits i have currently no permits so you can see uh, on this video so i can go on the other services section so i can click on the other services section if you want to book an umrah uh, with the saudi agent so there is a lots of uh, agent number and their website is available so you uh, are free to book the umrah with the saudi agent so there's a websites uh, there's a lot of website of different agent if you press the uh, this website the page is open in another link so look i press this one umrah tech and the next they open on the next page umrah to the saudi agent so you can book it log in register and add your dates and what package they have they can share with you they can you also want to talk to them uh, they have the number as well you can go on their website and you can also talk to to the person i need this i need this package i they so they tell you like the same in the european country agents so they sh uh, show you each and everything and they tell you each and everything now you can go back to the nusuk app and click other uh, website uh, like zamzam i can open the zamzam and if you want to talk to the agent you can talk to agent as well and ask about their services and packages so everything is uh, inside in the nusuk app so i like it so much because they uh, explain in the nusuk app so much thing and this also better services they add the hajj services as well so that is very good uh, point and the good uh, step they can take it so uh, i show you in this and if you want to sign out for the services you can go to the back back to the screen uh, the main screen and there's uh, your account and you also uh, 
you know sign out or you can delete your account you also de delete your account as well so that is very easy step so it is very good they uh, add the different agent uh, websites on this uh, nusuk app and that is um, the, that persons are the you know registered with the saudi government so there is no chance they can they can lie to you so that is authentic uh, website so that's why the nusuk app the saudi government app they can put their name in the app so that is a uh, logout detail and the delete account so if you want to delete it and log out you can delete and log out so hope you like my video please like and subscribe for more videos remember me in your prayers take care allah hafiz